Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Life Korean, where we learn Korean through songs, dramas, and other videos online. Today we're going to be looking at an old song, but a song that always becomes popular around this time of year. And you probably know it, it's Buska Buska's Bokkot Ending, or Cherry Blossom Ending. And this time of year, when the cherry blossoms start to come out, it's always on the radio, always blaring in shops. So let's have a look at the lyrics of the chorus. You've probably heard the chorus a lot, but to be honest, it's not the easiest chorus for a Korean learner, even though it's very short. So it's only two lines, but still let's have a look at it and what it means. First, let's listen to the clip. <laughs> Okay, if you've ever lived in Korea, you've probably heard that chorus many times. Now, it's actually two lines, but I've split them up into four lines. So the first line, 봄 바람 휘날리며 봄 is spring and 바람 is wind. And in this case, you can actually put 봄 and 바람 together to mean spring wind. Then we have the verb 휘날리다. 휘날리다 means to blow. So you can say that something blows in the wind, but here we're saying that the wind is just blowing. The spring wind is blowing. And then on the end of this, we have a grammar point, which is mia. So mia can be attached onto the end of verbs to mean while. And it's basically the same as myeonso, and you will see it used mostly in writing. Now, mia also has another meaning, and that's and. And you can usually tell from context whether it's and or whether it means while. All right, the second line, we have 흩날리는 뽀꽃잎이. Now, 흩날리다 means flutter. The next word is 뽀꽃, which is cherry blossom and what the song is all about. And then we have 잎, which means petal. E here is just the subject marker. 꽃잎 together originally means petal. And basically, two of these have been put together to mean cherry blossom petal. Now at the end of this, we'll put it all together into one sentence. But for now, cherry blossom petals that flutter. Now one important thing to note in this line is the pronunciation of this part here. Bokonipi. You can hear it uh, in the song. So what we have here is some sound assimilation. What happens is these sounds turn into, instead of Ip, it becomes gonip. So originally that's what that sounds like, but here we have e on the end as well. So that turns into gonipi. So let's listen one more time in the song. You'll be able to hear that. Bokonipi. So for a beginner, it can be quite confusing with these uh, sound assimilations, but as you practice and see them more often, you get used to it. All right, and the final part. Okay, first we have the verb 울려퍼지다, which means to echo or resonate. Usually it's used to describe a sound, but as you'll see in this uh, chorus, it's used for something different. And next we have e for this, 거리, means street or road. So turi is used to mean two people or both of us. The next word is kotta for walk, and you'll notice that it's conjugated into koroyo. So it's an irregular verb, and there are a few of these in Korean. And if you look up on Wikipedia or a Korean learning site, you should be able to find a list of irregular verbs. There aren't too many, uh, but there definitely are some common ones. So it's good to know them. Now describing this, the now describing these two lines without describing the first lines again wouldn't make much sense. So now we're going to put it all together into one. So while the spring wind blows, we walk along this road that's covered in cherry blossom petals fluttering in the wind. One more time. While the spring wind blows, 
we walk along this road which is covered in cherry blossom petals fluttering in the wind. Now of course when you look at translations of this chorus it will translate it slightly different to that to make it sound better in English. But the reality is that this is all just one sentence in Korean split up into multiple lines. Now let's go back to Ulyopajida. Remember I said it means echo or resonate but we have some imagery here of cherry blossom petals being spread out all over the, the street. So sometimes verbs can be used in different ways uh, from their original meaning. So here it's being used to describe something other than a sound but still meaning to spread out or resonate uh, around an area. Well that was a very short chorus. Let's listen to it one more time. Have a listen out again once more for this sound assimilation and also for any new grammar or vocab that you learnt. All right, that was a very quick video, but that's it for me today. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions or requests, please leave a comment below, and we'll be back soon with another video. See you next time.